South Africa has always been a paradise for hunters. The flip side of this dubious claim is that for the wildlife, South Africa is hell on earth. Over a million animals are hunted every year in South Africa, and conservation officials allow the cruel slaughter to continue unrestrained under the misguided belief that hunting is conservation. But once wild animals are removed from their natural environment and placed on hunting farms to be killed, what happens to them has nothing to do with conservation. There are now more than 4,500 lions in brutal captivity in South Africa, and the number of helpless victims grows by the day. What is canned hunting? Let us get the definition right so that we all know what we are talking about. Canned hunting is not an event. It is the entire process whereby animals are taken out of their natural environment and placed in factory farms. Most lion cubs born in South Africa are not born into their natural world. The female cubs have their heads crushed and their necks broken at birth because hunters only want male trophies. The mother is driven out shortly after giving birth so that she can come back into estrus quickly and be inseminated to give birth to yet more cubs. Again and again and again until her poor body is worn out. For days and nights she will cry for her cubs. Some lionesses will chew at the wire mesh that separates them from their cubs until the blood flows from their lacerated mouths. And what of the cubs? In South Africa, most lion cubs are used as human playthings by day, rented out to be pawed by tourists who are deceitfully assured that the cubs will be set free. These cubs will never know the wild. The proud lioness of the African bush has been prostituted to be a production line for hunting targets, imprisoned so that she can drop cubs like a battery hen drops eggs. Captive breeding is the inevitable consequence of overhunting. After wiping out the trophy animals in the wild, the industry has to turn to captive breeding to keep a constant supply of targets. It has nothing at all to do with conservation. It is a perverted form of factory farming, where the alternative livestock is unlawfully treated by conservationists as if the animals were excluded from the Animals Protection Act of 1962. This applies to all captive animals. If you beat a dog or a donkey, you will be arrested, and rightly so. But hunters inflict terrible suffering and death on fenced-in lions and elephants for fun. Do the conservation authorities believe that lions and elephants suffer less pain than dogs and donkeys? So let us sum up. Trophy hunting is the asset stripping of our environment. Hunters are a violent minority in society. They are also extremely cruel.
Let us begin by showing you how hunters get away with murder and then we'll deal with their accomplices. Hunting pays for conservation. If it pays, it stays. Give it a value and it will be preserved. These are the lies that hide the cruelty and the greed. The hunting industry has conceived the principle of sustainable use to justify its cruelty. Every canned lion hunter now trots out the tired excuse that his conduct constitutes wise use. Hunters maintain that there is no better way of protecting the habitat of a species than by systematically hunting it. Hunting is conservation, they claim righteously. This is absurd. It is like saying that only whaling can save the whales. Hij is 72, hij komt niet weer Afrika toe, hij wil zijn leeuwen. Hij was ook met wat jip vervangen gehad. Hij heeft met vervangde jippen. Dat hij kom jacht. En dus, dat was wat hij wil doen. En dan moet je zeggen om te zeggen, hij staat hij met hier, hier, hier 100.000 dollar check en hij wil leeuws jacht en hij wil een buffel jacht en hij wil een leeuw olifant jacht. Wat wie zeg ik nou? Ik zeg gewoon baie dankie. Hier gaan ik, zweet loop, organize, gaan te keren, want hij... Hunters are the only protected species in South Africa. Many conservation officials are themselves professional hunters. They have financial, family, social and cultural links with the hunting industry. They justify their support for hunting in financial terms. Officials boast proudly that hunting generates 150 million rands annually in Limpopo province alone. Think about the obscenity of this boast for a moment. Here are civil servants whose statutory duty is to preserve fauna and flora, and yet they are proud to tell us how many animals are being killed every year. Conservation has become, like apartheid, a dirty word. It no longer means protection. It now means ruthless exploitation. The new legislation and hunting standards which are touted as abolishing canned hunting are a farce and a sham. Because of all the loopholes carefully drafted into the policy by hunting industry lobbyists and lawyers, it is business as usual for the hunters regardless. Take one loophole, that the use of dogs is banned, except to follow up a wounded animal. Now I ask you. How can anyone tell from the carcass whether the wounds were inflicted before or after the dogs were set upon the poor animal? Look at www.africancats-hounds.co.za And bow hunting. The minister says that bow hunting is banned, except where permitted by particular provinces. That is not a ban, and the minister is wrong to misrepresent it as such. The evils of sport hunting are apparent to most decent people. Yet hunters have formidable accomplices in the United Nations Environment Programme and pro-hunting groups within the IUCN. It was these groups who conceived the dogma of sustainable use. What this establishes is that natural resources may legitimately be used, provided the use is wise in the narrow sense of not being excessive. This doctrine makes sense when it is restricted to inanimate resources such as tin or copper. But including sentient beings within the scope of mere resources which may be harvested was far from wise and probably closer to collective insanity. How could any sane person possibly lump gorillas, elephants and lions in with bacteria and then treat them as mere organisms? South Africa has adopted the doctrine of sustainable use and now believes that it is licensed by the IUCN and the United Nations to treat sentient beings as if they were bacteria. No doubt the international bureaucrats held the view that killing animals is poverty alleviation. Actually, it is colonialism. Look at trophy hunting chucking a few dollars at local landowners in order to pillage our wildlife heritage is not conservation, it is colonialism. When organizations such as Safari Club International in the USA patronize this industry, 
they export US dollars and colonialism to Africa and they import misery and bloodshed in the form of trophies. The dollars are a corrupting influence in the third world, perverting conservation policies away from preservation towards the cruel exploitation of wildlife. Colonialism. That's right, colonialism. Ecotourism is a far wiser use of our natural resources than hunting. Look at Kenya, where trophy hunting has been banned for 30 years as a barbaric relic of colonialism. Kenya has a tourism industry that is the envy of all of Africa. South Africa does not need trophy hunting for a strong and healthy tourism industry.